Hey guys, Ultima here from S3R Gamers. And uh, if you've been watching recently, you saw me do a series called A Year Walk. And I thought that the game was pretty much over, although there was some cryptic messages at the end of the last video stating for me to go to north of the mill and south of the brook, which were the furthest points north and south on the map. Um, well, it turns out if you go to your map, um, once the game loads up again and you hover your pointer over, um, north of the mill and south of the brook, it gives you a username and a password to that journal feature that was always there. Um, now opening up the journal feature opens up a whole new storyline of the game, but it's all red. So I'm going to do my best to summarize it uh, as best I can, and I'll probably leave it um, scrolling in the background. Um, I don't know how I'm going to put these two videos together on the screen at once, but you my face and the journal entries, uh, which I did end up recording, but it caught me off guard, so I, d I didn't have a chance to actually... Uh, record as I was going along anyway so it appears that you're a professor of some sorts um, and uh, I can't quite remember what specifically you do or uh, what's your field of expertise but you are um, you are researching a Swedish folklore known as year walking and you go to do some field work at the suggestion, I think, of the dean of the school or something. And essentially what starts happening um, is that you go out there and you're having a hard time finding anything of importance or use because there hasn't been an instance of year walking in over a hundred years. Um, anyway, as you further investigate... Uh, things you um, find out a little bit about a case of a man and a woman and um, that case is actually the game that we played through so the story that we played through is actually um, the the uh, the story that this this professor finds in the future um and after he keeps doing some research he actually goes and he finds that box we found in the woods that i couldn't figure out how to work and it worked like a, a rotary phone um so basically after that uh he takes he takes the rotary phone back i mean there's some stuff there's some little things but for the most part um, it was just the guy regretting that he killed the girl, uh, and he was sentenced to death, and I think he said some cryptic things, like, you know, I should have killed myself, and whatnot. So, anyway, um, after taking the box back, uh, you start to, uh, the professor starts to experience some psychotic events, uh, paranoia, and a lot of other things and he starts to do more and more research and he starts to get these symbols um, brought to him and then he he's, feels like someone's watching him and then there's a point in time where I guess uh, someone enters his house while he's asleep and leaves something for him so um, he, he starts to get really irritable and seclusive and he sort of like quits he quits his job and he sort of goes off on his own uh, doing his own thing because it's, it's sort of consumed him figuring out this year walk stuff uh, well eventually he finds out that you're walking somehow puts you almost outside of space and time and uh, allows you to sort of uh, bridge the gap between past and present and future so uh, um uh, the, there, are, there are these creatures, sort of, and it was essentially it looked like it was the the goat people, the goat things, um, who are what I would equate to the Reapers 
in Mass Effect, in the Mass Effect universe, these people are essentially the Reapers, where they kind of, you know, they're sort of the gods, and they kind of control everything, um, and they sort of want things to go according to their whim. Well, they needed a sacrifice, which is why uh, apparently going on a year rock requires a sacrifice, um, something along those lines. And if I'm explaining this wrong, I'm sorry, but this is essentially what I've gathered. So, after discovering all this, you decide, uh, the professor decides to go back to Sweden um, and uh, leave the box in the woods with a number of items inside of it for um, our protagonist. So after that, you, you take the box to the woods, you leave it for him because that spot in the woods he'll see because on this year walk he goes outside of space and time and uh, you find out that he's he killed the girl but he he regretted it you know and he wished he'd killed himself but the reason he killed her was again he had to kill someone the these gods these I forget what they called them I think they're like watchmen or something along the, the watchers the Watchers, yes. They're called the Watchers. Um, I, I, I honestly, every time I think about it, I call them the Reapers because to me it was, that was a lot what it was like. Um, so these Watchers needed a sacrifice and ultimately decided to kill her and he regretted it. So you do all that, you leave the box in the woods, and you now have, you now know because of your access to the journal, you now know the code to the box that uh, the professor received in the future, and by looking at the journal in the past, you know how to open the box. So with that, uh, I recorded the box opening, so we're gonna transition to uh, me um, watching the box. Okay, so now we're here actually watching the playthrough of the game, um, and here I am going up to the box. So, like I said, um, it's, it's a rotary phone, <clears throat> so I just had to figure out uh, which way to point the symbols, or which way the symbols went, because they're all essentially the same, they're just pointing slightly different directions, and it matters what they look like when they get up there not uh, how they look where they're standing necessarily so I believe oh, excuse me I believe this took me like two tries to figure out how to open up this box um, and so again this was the box that you, you the professor finds in the woods he takes it and it leads to a lot of psychosis type stuff um, I, I guess I'm, I'm assuming the theory would be that, uh, the, the box has some sort of mis mystical power. It does have the goat symbol, so it might be like, uh, it might be like Watcher technology. So, um, it might have been causing problems because, you know, he, he took it from a place it wasn't supposed to be. So again, your your walking is a thing that uh, had hasn't there hasn't been a case of your walking in hundreds of years, and I don't know if this is a real folklore like Swedish folklore, but um, but essentially in the universe that this game takes place in, it is and uh, the year walking uh, again, you you go on a walk for a year and somehow. Uh, I don't know if it's the woods you do or whatever, but it leads to you finding yourself outside of space and time. So what you left in the box was uh, was was newspaper clippings from the murders, and um, so here uh, and you can read this as I sort of explain. It's just explaining that it's the newspaper clipping of him being executed. The player you are in the year walk 
it's about his execution and why he was executed and um and how uh and how he had killed uh his ex girlfriend so he's just reading it again his name was daniel svensson i believe yes his name was daniel svensson he says, I should have killed myself, then none of this would have happened. Um, and you keep going, there's a little message behind the newspaper clipping um, that uh, the professor leaves for him. You are long dead when I write this, and I have not yet been born. Yet we have a connection beyond life. Death at space and time. The impossible made possible by your walking. But the Watchers always win. Even though you're not passed through the rift yet, they sense the urge and they want their sacrifice. I wish there could be another way. I am sorry. But for her, there is still hope. You can save her. You know what you must do. Basically saying they each have their own issues. But... The girl is innocent, and she could still be saved, and so he left the knife. He left his knife for him to kill himself with. And so Daniel Svensson kills himself, saving the life of the girl, and thus changing the past and what the effect that has in the future, I don't know. But that is the true ending of your walk. Um, very interesting game, fascinating. Um, the the story the the problem I had with the journal was that it was just so long, and it gave a lot. It wasn't that it wasn't interesting. It was just there was so much to read. Um, and it was all in text format. I just wish there was another way for them to make you experience all that information in a way that would have been less uh, tedious and boring. Um, and so uh, that is it. The end. Uh, but kudos to this game. This is a, this is a very interesting game. Uh, hard, in my opinion, puzzle solving wise. But overall it was a very interesting game and i enjoyed it a lot i hope you guys enjoyed it um quite a bit this is probably one of the more interesting experiences i've ever had on this channel even with the cat lady and uh and the novelist this is probably the strangest game so uh, i guess i just left it at the walk again screen for a while but anyway uh thank you guys for tuning in and now the year walk is officially over.